So in this video we do some exploratory testing on Google. Alan makes some really fundamental and basic technical errors as he tests, which is really embarrassing, but we do find a bug. Let's explore Google search. So I've picked Google as my target. I'm going to explore for 10 to 15 minutes and it, I might not get a lot done in that 10 to 15 minutes because I'm also going to be talking and trying to verbalize what's going through my head and, and how I'm thinking about testing this. So let's, may as well set up a timer. Let's use the Google timer. There we go. Set this to 15 minutes. There we go. Okay, so I'm picking google.com uh, because I think it's probably going to work fairly well. So the aim is not necessarily to find defects, it's just to look at the process of exploring, exploration, doing testing. And everyone has access to Google. So if I go off to google.com, we can see that I redirect to google.co.uk. So I could, in the future, let me make some notes, test redirection of uh, country IP to regional Google because what I'm trying to do is as I test my basic aim is to explore it from a test perspective um, to, to learn how Google works because I mean I use Google I'm a user of Google but I don't I'm not a tester of Google I don't know I don't know it from a test perspective so we're going to see what we find so at the moment I've got Google here, here's the input. What I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize the ability for me to observe what's going on. So I'm going to use the dev tools for that. Now also at this point, whilst I can observe in here, I am currently interrogating the front end. So let's see what we've got here. So let's just start a, a test. So let's see. So this is the main input field. Now what's interesting here is there's a lot going on in here that I don't know. All right, so I know input fields, I know CSS, classes, IDs, max length, we know about that's the maximum field we, the data we can put in, names I understand, all complete being off, title, fine. I don't know if all these areas are valid areas because I am not a big accessibility person, so I don't really know the area thing. So if I was testing this longer term, I would need to um, investigate aria tags more. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that. So I've got um, a representation of what I'm seeing there, and then I can go and investigate that more. Now, the stuff here, I don't know. So this spell check false. Is that a, a, just a normal HTML thing? See, this is part of the, um, part of the process of uh, exploring. We do a lot of uh, learning. So this is the easiest way to learn. So it's a spell check is an HTML. There must be HTML5. Cool, I haven't seen that before. HTML5. So that, so this is, so what's it? So here's the thing. Spell check is unrelated to Google. Right, but Google search is using it. And I've worked on websites before and I haven't seen many people use this tag. So I'm going to distract myself for a little bit just to see um, what a difference this makes. Spell check true. Let's put in, uh, let's say there's remembrance. Let's see, remember. All right, so, and if I take spell check off, this is just me experimenting spell check to. Um, Get my head around how it works. Take that off. Let's come back. So maybe the spell check attribute is not real, or maybe it hasn't come back. Let's do that. Refresh. Remember. Okay, so the spell check attribute isn't the thing controlling that. I thought it might. So that's interesting. Then is that a problem? I've no idea.
Okay, so there's a lot of HTML5 attributes that I don't know in there. How interesting is this? Um, so what we've learned from uh, reading this is there are some specification things in here. There are things that I can actually test. Now I would expect if I submit the form and change the name or the, uh, the chances are just the name, this, this wouldn't work. I wouldn't expect this to work. Now, because I changed the name of the input, let's look. There we go. So that, that isn't working anymore. If I change that to Q, test, so that's working now. So that's, that's pretty much what I'd expect. I'd expect that name not to work. Now we've got a max length here. Max length is the maximum that I can type into that field. So let's get something up that lets me check that. So I've got a counter strings tool here. So the max is 2048. Um, I'll put spaces in the counter string because Google's expecting words. So let's just paste that in to Google. Now the reason for doing this is because uh, Google is telling me that it will handle 2040. It's the only thing it really tells me. It tells me it will handle input. So anything within that valid input range is equivalent in that sense. But we've got a limit of 2048. So I'm going to just check its claim that it can handle 2048 and we expect this to work. Be so I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. Um, so that an illegal or malformed request, so maybe the um, HTML is, is too big at that point. Okay, well let me try it with just a, a full um, string, just in case it was the thing with spaces. Yes, yes, so go back to the proper thing. So let's try that again. Cool, so we um, found a, a problem. Okay. I'm just going to make a note. I had to type in the right max length. Always check your stuff. 2048, yep. Yep. In the space. Asterix. Um, caused 400. Now I could investigate this in more detail. Um, where I do that is I'd hook up a proxy to start looking at requests to see what the request looks like. Because this is saying it has issued a malformed or illegal request. So if it's malformed, I might see that in the proxy. Um, but essentially we can see that the front end uh, conditions that it's expecting, 2048, uh, it doesn't honor that. So it, it said something in here where the max length can be this, where clearly it isn't. Now, if I was to test the lengths, I should really binary chop this, but I'm just going to kind of randomly do this just to see whether we can quickly get something. So that's 2000. Nope. All right, let's jump down to, well, let's try something 1024 just in case. Nope. So maybe, uh, so, so it's put asterisks in there. Would it be the asterisks that, that wouldn't, maybe it's numbers with what's going on. Let's try that with just spaces. It should be okay. Hmm. What's the max length? Does anyone know? Does anyone know what the max length of a get request is? It even doing a get request? Let's have a look. What is it doing? Ninety six and subsequent word. So what did it take there? Right, so at this point I'm lost. I'm not sure if it's actually done that request or not. It hasn't given us a problem. What I'd like to see, let's see what's in that URL. 1024, let's resubmit that. Done the request. Right, so it's handled 1024 there. And we can see the URL encoding has got um, pluses in there for the spaces, which is fine. 
So we could start binary chopping. So we've got 2048, 1024. I guess I should really write a tool to do um, binary chops because my math is not very good. So what's half of 1024? Uh, 512. So that's 512. 1024 plus 512 is 1536. Let's try that. Now, Google's always interesting because it seems to do the request before you hit enter, or it's done something because it's cleared my search results here. Is that normal? Is it supposed to do that? Not sure. Press enter to search. Let's do that. That's an error. Okay. All right, so I'm We've got four minutes left. What I think will be interesting is I'm going to get Fiddler up just to have a proper look at these requests. And the reason I'm picking Fiddler is that it will automatically hook into uh, Windows. I'm not going to install the upgrade. Let's redo that search again. So what search was that? One five three six. Is that actually honored the one five three six there? So that's interesting. So it looks like it's done a one five three six there. Even though it originally said one five three six is bad. Green. Well, green's fine. Let's stand out. So we've got a 1536 search. Let me try and do a 1536 from here, like this. Does that make a difference? That's an error. What's the difference? So this one, see, look, it's done it twice because that's what we thought or I thought was happening in there when you type one in. That one is there. My question is. Can we compare these? So what is the difference between these requests? Let's get this up. So I've installed WinMerge on my computer and Fiddler is using that as the comparison tool. So it's created a different search terms for each of the queries. And that might actually be the problem because this one worked this one didn't and this one might actually be longer because of all the other stuff that Google put in the URL. So what we could try then is the one that doesn't work. Let's investigate how long have we got. Oh, this is exciting. Two minutes. So for the two minutes and 29 seconds that we've got left, let me get Fiddler back. Here's the one that didn't work. Let's put this into the composer. Quickly. All right, so if I re-execute this again, it should fail. Or oh, it should work. What? What are you playing at? That's the same, supposedly the same, but that's not the same thing. So what did I copy in there? That clearly was the wrong thing. Composer. Why does that look different? Is anyone else seeing that? So why is the composer getting that? Okay, it's the first time I've seen um, this type of thing. Let me expect that. Okay, I'm just gonna manually take that then. that into this composer. Wait a minute. Yep. Aha, that's saying red, something bad. Now the composer might well be validating this for me. I can't see where the 
error message it tell me about, but it does suggest that there is some sort of error in there. And I wonder if it's a length. If I get all rid of all this nonsense, maybe there's a point at which it goes green. So it'd be nice if I knew why that was invalid. Let me just execute it. Get malformed. So that's because of my copy and paste nonsense. Maybe that's why it was invalid. Let's try that. Oh, and we're out of time. So we got caught up in the investigation part there. You have to make a decision when you're testing whether you investigate or not but we found an issue there what we haven't done certainly so i could raise that as a bug and say the front end says that we <laughs> nice, thank you the front end says that it will accept 24 8 but it doesn't um we've tried 1024 we've tried uh 1536 1024 worked under one instance but not the other so i would probably want to do a little bit more testing to narrow down exactly what my defect is but we got to that because Google told us it could do this when we did what Google said it can do we discovered that Google can't do what Google said it can do um, so there you go there's a quick export to test session I'm going to watch this recording again and do a commentary over the top but from your perspective you can see the notes that I've made and you can see the testing that we did and feel free um, to test Google uh, if you want. Maybe this bug has been fixed by the point that you see it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and if there's anything specific you'd like us to let explore, then tell me and we'll see whether we can explore it.